Hello everybody. My name is Albert and today I am going to share with you 10 best practices for saving cost on your cloud account. Now I do know that cloud cost optimization is, is one of the most dreaded tasks for all the organization who are running their workloads on cloud. And these 10 best practices are cloud agnostic. And these are as important for a startup as they are for an enterprise in order to save cost on your cloud computing workload. So let us look at them. To begin with, number one, tag all your resources to know where the money is spent. It is really, really important to tag all your resources either by project name or by resource or by department or by a person who is consuming that resource. All the cloud providers will give you a report of all the resources that are not tagged. Take out this report periodically and take the action necessary to ensure that you know where your money is being spent or who is spending that money. Number two, use consolidated billing to avail volume discount. Now, most of the organization will have more than one cloud accounts. And it helps if they combine all of these together and pay money through one account, one payee account. And, and in that way, they can avail discount for all the usage. And, and you know, all the cloud provider, they actually give you discount on volume. So the more you, you consume, you know, the, the price that you pay, the price per unit that you pay, it comes down. So use consolidated billing and then you can avail these discounts on whatever you are consuming. Third, automate resource life cycle. Most of the time, our resources such as servers are, are, are created, are provisioned and then we forget about those servers and they keep on burning hole in our pocket month on month. So it, it really helps if we put a process in place that will automate the creation and deletion or termination of that particular server or for that matter, a resource on your cloud account. Number four, right size your resources, which means that if I have a very huge server and it is being utilized only for 10% or 20% in a, in a month, then it really helps if I reduce the size of that server and instead of let's say three dollar an hour, I am I am I can get my work done with one dollar fifty cents, uh, you know, an hour. So I could I could save money right there by right sizing my my servers or for that matter my my storage devices. Okay. Uh, fifth, choose right pricing model based on usage. Now. All the cloud platform, they have various pricing models for, for their services and, and they do allow an on-demand price versus a reserve price. So if I know something that is going to run for a very long time, normally in a production environment, then I can reserve that particular capacity and it goes much beyond servers as well. It goes to storage as well. It goes to content distribution as well. So. As soon as I reserve that, I, I could get up to, you know, 40% at times 50% discount as well. And then there are options for spot uh, instances as well or, you know, a dedicated instances as well. And, and the pricing would differ. So, so work with your cloud administrator or your cloud, uh, you know, partner, account manager to see what pricing model is right for your use case. Number six, measure and monitor your resources. As I mentioned earlier, in right sizing your, your resources, it is imperative to measure and monitor, set up monitoring for all the resources. Am I really consuming what I have provisioned? What is the extent of consumption? And if, if I'm not doing that, let us, let us talk to the person who provisioned it and see if we can, you know, reduce that, what I have provisioned because cloud would give you, you know, one terabyte if you would want, uh, you know, in, in RAM, but, but do we really, really need that? So it is very important 
to to measure uh, what we are provisioning uh, and then monitor it and then take necessary action all right now number 7 as as a, again this this goes back to the same thing that we provision a lot of resources and most of these resources they they lie idle they they lie unused or unattached for example uh, ip addresses or or load balances or or maybe some storage uh, devices so take a note of all these uh, you know unused or unattached or unallocated resources that are adding bill or adding money to your monthly bill and then get rid of them or you know have somebody uh, make make use of them number 8 match usage to storage class now in cloud it's it's really interesting that uh, you could get storage for about $4 a terabyte to up to $300 a terabyte depending on a use case so if your use case is hey i really want to archive something it would be wise to go to a service that is designed specifically for that use case and and costing the least amount of money versus you know using something that is costing you you know hundred dollar a terabyte only for archiving uh, your data so choose choose wisely between your use case and again uh, you know you can always go to your cloud account manager to to help you with uh, with choosing these things number nine increasing elasticity through automation so i did mention that there could be times when you need more servers or you need less servers all the cloud platform they would give you enough uh, you know resources to automate scaling up or scaling down of your resources and it really helps if you can automate that so that as soon as you are done with your work you are not paying for additional hours or additional duration of those servers or storage devices and number 10 and this is again you know based on our experience that most of the time 80% of your cloud cost would be attributed to your compute and storage resources. So your servers, your, your volumes, they would constitute most of your bill. So it, it really, you know, makes sense to spend most of your effort on these two things. Now, if you do not have, uh, you know, these services on, on top 80% of your bill, of your cloud bill, then just yes, whatever you have on top of that, I would say that, you know, put more focus on that thing. So, so as I mentioned earlier, these 10 best practices are cloud agnostic. You can take a look at them and then you can reduce your bill and you can put these in place and see that your cloud bill is going drastically. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, listening to me. I will be back with another episode soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.